Look what came in today. My unicycle. All right, let's open this puppy and see what's inside. So, what do we have here? We have, yeah, and we only one, one little uh, cover thing, bumpers, with the tape that goes with it. And we have the little belt for practicing, the charger, relatively big, and aha, here it is. Um, the little practice wheels. Practice wheels. And the unicycle instruction manual. Nobody cares about that. Aha! Beautiful. Look at that, buddy. Is that the piece of the moon? That's the unicycle. Is that the piece Check it out, of it? nice and blue. Beautiful. You can feel the motor in there. Nice. Can I use one of those? Yeah, Because I like it. You can see the LEDs here, the Do power it button. It? Does it work? Do it. And the wheel. This is my very Let's first attempt. Wheel it. We'll see how it goes. I figured it might be better to try it on the grass for the first attempt. See how that works. If I fall, at least I won't hurt myself for the unicycle. So here it is. First try of my unicycle. Here goes nothing. So let me go into a little bit more detail as to what goes in the box. You get the unicycle, obviously, the manual, a set of training wheels that you basically screw on to the pedal here on either side, and that prevents you from falling side to side. Um, it's helpful if you're not very good with balance, but uh, like everyone else on the internet, I would recommend not using them too much because then it wouldn't help you learn how to balance yourself so well. There's the uh, lanyard. Um, as you can see, it's one of those uh, metal clippy thingies where you have to pass it through the rings like that. I wish it would have been some something like a clip or something easier to put on and off, but uh, that does the trick. Um, <clears throat> you got one and only one roll of bumping tape like this. This is something you put around to protect the um, unicycle from scratch marks and whatnot. Uh, for example, I took a fall and this is what it looks like when it's all scuffed up. So it's to protect from that. And uh, I got a, I had to be pretty creative as to where I put it. Um, so I could use this one tape um, pretty well. And so this is all that I have left after doing this. Uh, I basically did half of the side pedals here for my legs. Because it also helps with um, how stiff this is and how uh, it hurts your legs. And even with this padding, it still hurts. Uh, I put some here so that when I carry it, it's not as painful in my hands. Uh, this thing is pretty heavy. It's 10, 10 kilos. And uh, the most important ones is um, the ones that you put here. Those are pretty important. If One last thing is the charger. Now. It is an extremely light charger. I don't know if you can get get a sense of it from this, but it is really, really light. Uh, there are fans in there that turn on when you uh, power up the unicycle. The one big complaint I have is that Banggood shipped me a European plug, and uh, I had to pull out one of those um, to convert it to US, which is not very cool, but uh, I can work with that. And. Uh, Gladly for me, this thing takes 110 and 220, so I'm okay there, 240. Now, a couple things about the unicycle that you should know is that this specific one, um, when you try to pump, it, bump, uh, pump up the tire, this is really, really unhelpful. 
because it is straight into the unicycle and you basically have to come from up here and there is a very limited range where you can reach it it's only from here to here and then this metal thing is not helping either so unless you have a crooked kind of sideways 90 degrees pump <laughs> you're gonna be in trouble I tried pumping this at a gas station and the thing was like a long piece of metal and I couldn't fudge it in there properly so it was a real pain uh, to get this pumped up so just something to know about this specific unicycle and one more thing that's more general about unicycles in general the tire will have a direction see it says drive and it has an arrow that way that means the tire should spin in this direction in your normal use of the tire when you're driving forward so that means in this case I need to remember to put these lights on my left leg um, the reason for this is the tread on the tires uh, for the rain uh, or puddles of water or anything like that will push the water out in the right way so you don't skid and um, you know lose grip on the on the road so all right, I think I got the hang of it a little bit. That was like five minutes, first try ever. Not too bad. I'm gonna practice some more and then uh, get back to you later, guys. All right. Okay, the inflated tire makes the world of difference. Uh, um, I ordered this puppy a few days ago and it just got in today and I got riding with it and I had a lot of fun already within my first day of use. Um, it, it comes in different colors, um, blue, white, black, and I believe pink. Um, I've added some padding that comes with it. Unfortunately, it only comes with one uh, strip of padding, so I had to get creative as to how to maximize um, the usage of it comes with this little um, belt. Uh, it also comes with a pair of little training wheels that you can put right here. Um, but everyone says don't use those because they're not helpful, so I didn't bother. And uh, <clears throat> so, first impressions. Uh, my first five minutes uh, felt horrible. <laughs> uh, it was definitely harder than it looked online um, and I thought it would take me forever to learn it and then I tried it a little bit more and it finally clicked. And I gotta say now uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, <clears throat> it's uh, um, <clears throat> the, the big problem with this is um, it will catch you if you try to lean forward to accelerate but it won't catch you sideways it's just like a normal unicycle right so and it's just like a, um, a bicycle the faster you go the easier it is to keep the balance uh, but obviously when you begin it's hard to go fast right so you gotta be careful with that um, one few uh, one one tip that I haven't heard from anyone uh, out there is when you start using this thing, your reflex is going to be to grip onto this thing uh, to your life. Um, actually, yes it works, but um, it, it's going to hurt your, uh, your legs very fast. Uh, and even with the padding, uh, granted I didn't put a lot, but even with padding it, it, it kind of hurts after a while. And um, I started trying not to touch it with my legs so much and just relying on my feet alone. And that uh, feels much better. It, it's a little bit harder, but it's much more comfortable for riding it. Also, think of it as uh, someone on a motorcycle. When they take a turn, <coughs> usually you see them like in the racing uh, competitions, they'll put like one leg out when they're in their turns like this. The idea is pretty much the same here. When you're taking a turn, you want to lean this thing a little bit so that it starts touching your leg and the other leg should be out like that without touching the inside. If you start leaning by touching both like that, then your whole body's going to fall off and it's not helpful. Another thing that I haven't heard from anyone and is crucial is when you accelerate, you don't want to lean your whole body forward or anything like that. It's not like a segue, not at all. 
uh, and in fact, it will it will kick you back if you try to push forward. Don't resist it. It's its way of saying you're about to fall off. So <laughs> I'm pushing you back. You 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 push back. You lean back and just uh, push again later. But yeah, if it's if it's pushing back, if you if you move your feet and keep your body leaned forward, that's how you start falling off because you're gonna your gravity is going to be too much forward so if it's pushing back that means your gravity is too far forward so just center yourself and then you know use your toes to gently push that accelerator without leaning too much or at all actually what you need to do is think of this as an accelerator pedal from a car so you just lean your your leg a little bit on it and you really don't need that much and it will start accelerating and um, Granted, I've never used a Segway before, so I'm not sure exactly if, if it works the same way or not, but uh, in a car, you're not accelerating all the time, right? You're just accelerating to the speed you like, and then you just stay flat. In this thing, it's the same thing. I thought I'd have to lean forward the whole time, but you don't. And in fact, if you try and do that, it will kick you back, and then you, you'll fall off. Uh, <laughs> I've fallen off a couple times today uh, because of that. And so be careful about that. Just... Um, Get some speed because you won't be able to catch your uh, balance without it. But once you have the speed, just try and stay flat for a little bit and enjoy it and see if you can keep your balance with right. it. Um, if you're going to take a turn and you're leaning the, the unicycle on one of your legs, usually you might feel like you're going too fast in the turn. So it's nice to actually push on the heel of the, of the foot that's inside the turn so that this this foot will like lean the the unicycle back a little bit and then you turn which will slow you down as you turn and will help the slower you go the more you turn so that will help you turn better than if you just lean and then pray that the, <laughs> the tire will do the rest so yeah um, just lean on one of your legs push back a little bit and then you'll turn very nice and slow and then you're ready to go again uh, that's it. That's uh, my first impressions and review of this uh, TGF3. I'm pretty happy with it. I got it on Banggood for uh, 340. Uh, there's a, a coupon uh, N E W U S that I used, New New U S, uh, that gave me like 40 bucks off. So that's pretty um, helpful. Hey, I thought I'd show you a little demo of what I'm able to do now uh, after just like maybe a couple hours of using it at most. Uh, I charged the battery fully and it's still not completely dead. It's at uh, two lights out of the four. So I don't, I don't, I still don't know how much uh, mileage I can get out of it yet, but uh, so far I'm pretty happy with it. All right, there goes nothing. Not too bad, huh? Alright, see you guys.